Hi, everyone. I wanted to give you an overview of the Meridian program. People are writing and asking questions like, when does it begin exactly? And what are the hours? And so I wanted to give you a little run through. Some people, I wanted to have it done and I do wanna have it done for February 1st. My favorite quote by Jonathan Quinton when working with creative projects and you ask him, well, when is your project gonna be done? And he says, well, how long is a piece of string? Which I think is a great answer. But I do plan to have it done by February 1st and I wanted it done sooner. But the reason that it's not sooner is because this has turned into a really extensive project that is awesome. And I've put in even more than I expected to put into it. So I'm gonna run you through and show you what the program actually is. The plan is I'm gonna release it February 1st or within that first week of February. I'm gonna give you guys a couple, few weeks, maybe two weeks, maybe three possibly, um, just to really kind of go through the program because it's really important. It's a lot of written material um, and the videos come afterwards. And in that written material, you get like a whole extensive mini book on meridians and also Chinese medicine generally and how to think in that way. So um, it'll be really good to, to give you chances to just like read through it a little bit before we start actually doing the online classes. So, and that I guess is my one request that if you're, when in coming to the classes and asking questions, please make sure that you've read the material first. It's a lot of material, but I've crafted it in a way that, and what I kind of pride myself on in teaching is that I, I think that I really craft ways to give people different ways to learn that allows them to absorb material really easily. So you get a lot in a program that I create. And then we're gonna have, um, maybe as much as six um, online classes where I've said that they're going to be two hours long. We'll go for as long as it kind of feels good, you know, 60, 90 minutes. If we've got two hours and people are really rolling in with questions and, and we're rocking it and having a good time, then we'll do two hours as well. So I really want to craft it to kind of go with the flow of what's happening. If you can't make the recordings, the recording or the live classes, the recordings will be available. Yes. And um, this is the one time in the program that I'm going to actually be on live to answer your questions. You can ask me questions by emailing me things in advance, and I'll do my best to answer them in the live course. And, um, and then, of course, in the live things, you can come in and ask questions. I don't believe I'm going to be doing it again to do a live thing. If I do, I'm going to package it differently. Um, the price would go up because you're getting a lot um, a lot of teaching online directly and a lot of information in this program. So let me just show you what that is. I'm really excited about it. So still a work in progress. This part, welcome to the course and about me, blah, blah. I will read you about the outline and objectives before we're done. Um, but I always do that at the end. And so a beginning, we're going to start with you know, an introduction to meridians. I actually pulled this part from my fractal anatomy and geometry of healing program because it's a really concise uh, written piece about meridians and then a video that really kind of walks you through. So you get really well prepped. And then we get into um, how do meridians fit into traditional Chinese medicine. And this is where we start prepping you to actually get into the crash, what I call a serious crash course in, um, in Chinese medicine. And all of these different theories that work in, in Chinese medicine in order to be able to understand how you're approaching a body. So you get in this a very serious crash course in Chinese medicine. Um, this is what I wasn't expecting to put in so extensively, but to really understand the meridians, they're like tarot cards. You have to really understand how an Eastern practitioner is thinking. So for instance, a lot of medical doctors study acupuncture, but they do what's called really like a local anatomical acupuncture. They don't learn the Eastern theory underneath it. And that's kind of like giving a bunch of syringes and, and you know, bottles of antibiotics or different things to people in a third world country who don't understand how to use them and just say kind of go at it. So while you're getting some local points and, and they are helpful to some degree, you're not understanding the whole, the whole framework underneath how an Eastern practitioner is thinking to really approach the body because it's very different. So I wanted to give you a crash course in traditional Chinese medicine so that you're understanding what meridians really are, where they come from and what's happening with that and why they're thinking the way they are. So there are certain ways that people think, they're like different um, file folders that get pulled. And we're gonna go through each one of these 
And I quote different practitioners here too, like Mark Seam is awesome. And I've, I've kind of highlighted him in some of this. Then we'll move into things like the eight patterns. This is the crash course in Chinese medicine, yin and yang and the five elements, etiology and examination and occurrence of disease and fundamental substances. These are all how the Chinese think. Now we're going into the five elements too. This is all more information than you need to know, but it's also crafted in a way that you can absorb what you need and it will always allow you to grow and come back to it. By the time you print out this whole beautiful booklet that I have created for you, you're gonna have such an incredible overview and a booklet that you could always refer to and go back to. Even if you went to your first year at acupuncture college, a lot of these I've pulled from notes from when I was at acupuncture school that I synopsized in order to really understand and assimilate information. So I'm really proud of this section too. I really feel there's a lot happening in there that's helpful. Now that you have the groundwork for it, then we kind of prep you to get into the meridians themselves. What are the meridians? And so we're going through what their functions are and what they actually are and their connections. But there's different ways that they're set up. So we touch on the six divisions as well and what that means. And then we actually get into the meridian acupuncture points themselves. And so that's a very extensive part where, where a lot of the points, we're not going to cover all the points, but if you ever needed to go back to find different points, I'm highlighting the main ones on the meridian and then picking some that we're going to be actually doing in the video portion to understand. So it allows you to understand the beginning and the end of the meridian and the most important points in between. And then we're highlighting the ones that you can actually use with your hands. Some are just for needling. So you wouldn't wanna know that, but it's helpful to know what they actually do. So you're really getting drawn into this very circular way of working with the body. Um, how to approach the meridians and then an example of a traditional Chinese medical intake, what that looks like in relation to the West. Then we get into the cool section when we start really going into what's happening with each meridian. I'm gonna hop over to here to show you this. So before we even dive into the meridians, we're giving you more on that. And then we do the diving in. So each meridian pair here has the classical Chinese perspective where I share with you what you learn in a foundational way about the meridians. Um, there's also a way to really weave in the psychology of things and absorb information. So I've created something I call the right brain exercise which I've done in live classes back in Los Angeles years ago. And I love this because everybody would sit around with colored pencils and paper, and we'd have really you know, great left, right brain music playing, whatever you're drawn to. Sometimes people like Baroque music because it's really good for that. I tend to listen to things like dolphin music in my headphones while I'm working on things. And it just sort of puts me in a drifty space. And I'm going to be reading you from a book by Leon Hammer about the meridians. And that's weaving in kind of a, a more five phases, five element perspective. And you just doodle. You don't have to be a drawer. You don't, this is something that's fun and relaxing and easy. <clears throat> so if you're already in a panic, like I have to perform, you don't. The whole point of it is to really get out of your left brain and into your right brain. And I have a lot to say about that because that's really the only way to absorb the meridian. So I've crafted the program so that you can really let go of the linear aspect of the learning and just the reading and really go into the video, the hands-on and how to get into your own brain to understand the weaving of the East and West. And after we do that for each meridian, then we have a video of how to work on the particular meridian, both on yourself and on another body. So that's what I'm just finishing up. We go through all of the different meridians there. So you're really going to understand them very well by the time you finish the program. And then something called song lines and roadmaps. So I go over some information that the Japanese have done that is really, really interesting research over many years. And it discusses how and why the jagged lines, like gallbladder always moves back over the head or small intestine kind of zigzags over the shoulder. And why does it do that? And is there an explanation? And there is, which is really cool. And I haven't heard it anywhere else, but from these Japanese masters that I've had a chance to study with. 
and also with the geometry because the whole understanding of geometry what that has to do with it so it's a really full extensive program that has a lot involved i'm really proud of it and i'm just finishing it up and so you have until the end of the month if you've got the program already it'll be coming out very soon at the beginning of february you'll be getting an email within the week with the clarity of classes they will probably run on a friday at around noon eastern time which would be five o'clock in the uk six o'clock in europe and nine o'clock on the west coast of north america so now i'm just going to go over some ideas of the outlines and objectives of um, what this will do for you. So by the time you finish this program, you will know meridians much better than anyone else, aside from an, acu an acupuncturist. You're gonna know how to physically work on yourself and use helpful points on others and understand why. You're going to have a closer relationship with your own body and how to help yourself when concerned about a physical issue. This is really pivotal because when we have aches and pains, and we don't know what to do, it can cause anxiety and concern. But to know how to work with your own body really helps you unlock that. So you can always come to my somatic stretch classes that I teach for free and by donation twice a week. The recordings are always put up afterwards and you can always watch the recordings. And it really helps you get into your body. So the whole basis of my work is around not only teaching intellectually, but getting you into your body and understanding that. Knowing the meridians really helps you connect even more with what's going on internally and why and what points are helpful. And then when you take it into your body and really just stretch and breathe, which we do all together twice a week, all the time for the last couple of years, and it will be always ongoing. It really allows you to get into that inner depth where you're really connecting with your internal wisdom and you are your best teacher. So between the fractal anatomy and geometry of healing program, which is really unique and shows you a lot of aspects about how East and West merge. And then the Meridian program that allows you to really go through the Meridians themselves and get into the tarot of it and the, and the Eastern and Western thought process in relation to your body. And then anyone, whether you take these programs or not, can always come to the somatic stretch classes. So you can find out about those on geometryofhealing.com and you just go to online stretch class. We're not done yet. Um, specific points that are used for specific things that ail you. So I already spoke a little bit to that. You will understand the mindset and landscape of the Eastern approach. You will learn things about meridians and why they run in jagged lines or what geometry may have to do with meridians, but you will likely not find anywhere else. I haven't found that information anywhere else before, aside from where I've sourced it over the years. You will understand classical meridian theory. That's really helpful to get an idea of really getting the mindset of like, oh, that's how they're thinking. Like over the years and all the different kinds of techniques that I've taken, I'll, for instance, I remember when I took craniosacral therapy, I just wanted to know what is the map inside your head when you're doing that work on me? Like what is happening? And my favorite thing is really explaining that. I, I search a lot of different things. What is the map work? And that's what the classical meridian theory and then this whole right brain work that we're doing as well will really weave so that you just understand, you don't just touch a meridian and learn it like an anatomy and it's not an intellectual process. This will become more of a living process for you. It's not a program, it's a process. Um, you will understand the five phases in relation to them. So you hear five element theory a lot and the five phases. And so I'm gonna explain what that is in relation to the actual meridians and classical meridian theory. They're all interwoven, but where and how? And all of this lets you really wind into understanding by the time you touch yourself or somebody else, you're now thinking directly into the body in a whole different way. You will draw and muse and absorb on a right brain level so that even though you have so much information to draw from in this program, you will absorb it. And that is my invocation and my intention for this program. You have so much information in this program and you're gonna get it. And that just excites me. You'll have a very powerful workbook you can print out that will serve you very well over time. I've been printing it out and looking at it. I didn't realize it was so extensive and it's really, it's beautiful. I'm really proud of it. You will begin to see the world and your body differently. This will help you when you are concerned about your health and empower you with tools to help yourself. You will know how to work to core rather than working on a point. This is really important. 
<clears throat> when you're working on someone, it's kind of like, you know, when you're a chef and you can just put your finger on something and you know when it's rare and you know when it's well done. And, and like, that's the whole trick of being able to get the, the steak at the table in the right way. When you're working on somebody's body, it's really important to work to core. We do that when we're stretching on our own bodies because our minds are so on the surface. But there is a huge difference between touching someone and finding a point that you're doing with the sensory system on the top of your finger or the bottom of your finger and your brain and then thinking to core. And that's what all of my students say when they come to my workshops. I know how I can think to core in ways I didn't know I needed to. And it's so much more valuable because it allows you to really activate and work with the nervous system. That gives you a feedback and a lot of information from the body. Uh, you will learn how to use your hands, your own body, and this information on an intuitive level to connect more effectively to the meridians. That's basically what I just explained. When you wake up in the morning, this is the last point, when you wake up in the morning, you will catch yourself sooner and stay silent for a moment longer. And you will hear things your body tells you about yourself. When we really start weaving left and right brains and subconscious and consciousness, a bridge gets formed. And so if you've been through the fractal anatomy and geometry of healing program, that bridge is already forming a lot and the meridians aid and abet that. The two programs stand on their own. You don't have to do the fractal anatomy and geometry of healing to get so much out of the meridian program. You might be inspired to want to do that other program as well. And so don't forget that until the end of the month um, or until at least I release this program. So I would say until the end of the month, you can have a discount on the actual Meridian program and you get a 20% discount on the Fractal Anatomy and Geometry of Healing program if you would like to have both of them at the same time. So you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. I'm really excited about this program and I look very forward to connecting with all of you in person. It'll be really fun to be in class together. And those of you who are joining this time around, this is where we really get to be in the live virtual classroom together. So thank you for your time, for listening to this. Thank you for your interest in the program. And I will be sending out an email very soon with uh, solidified details on dates, which I probably will already do with this video. I would think, as I said, it'll be Friday. I'm going to aim for that. I'll look at some dates. So I look so forward to seeing you then. You can always email me with questions at sands, like the beach, S-A-N-D-S, -S, at templebody.com. May the next be with you. I'm excited to see you soon. Stopping share. Bye.